Hey there, and welcome to Ryan's Walls, Zones, and Openings tutorial. In this tutorial, we will review how to utilize these beam-like elements to create architectural drawings faster. Let's get started! The Walls, Zones, and Openings elements can be found in the bottom toolbar or triggered with shortcuts. Let's start with the Wall tool. After activating the Wall command, you can determine its alignment to the center or sides and choose between a straight or arced wall. Now, set the first point of your wall on the canvas. You can either set the second point or enter a specific distance and angle value, then click Done. The wall command allows you to continue drawing another wall segment. Press Done at any point to exit the command. You can apply Ryan's editing tools to your walls, like the Offset command, Fillet command, Extend command, Trim command, and more. Check out Ryan's editing commands tutorial for more step-by-step -step instructions. Now select your wall to establish its properties in the right panel. You can set its thickness by choosing a default or entering a value. And you can customize the style of your wall by setting its fill, like choosing a solid color or a customized hatch, and modifying its stroke. Be sure to watch Ryan's style tutorial for more about stylizing your drawings. You can also always reset your wall alignment from the property panel. Remember, the walls you draw are fully editable. You can adjust their length either by using the wall helper dimensions and entering a specific value, or by simply manually adjusting them. Now, let's add a door or window to our wall. Once you activate the opening command, the Ryan block library will open, where you can choose between some default opening blocks or select one from the exhaustive door and window block library. Once you drag and drop the block onto your wall, it will punch a hole in it. Click on the location where you want to set your block and then select its direction. You can also use the wall helper dimensions to place it more accurately. Your opening block also has properties. You can set the distance between the door center line and the wall threshold with the offset property. The zone limit property will determine the behavior of the zones around your block. Let's jump into a more detailed drawing to demonstrate that. As you can see, changing the zone limit will set the threshold of the zone to include or exclude your wall thickness. Now let's elaborate about zones. Zones define a room surface and include a style and a square meter tag. To activate a zone, click on the zone tool, then single click inside a room enclosed by walls. You can also draw a zone outside of a wall enclosure manually. Once created, a zone with a style using a texture or hatch fill will give you access to the zone's tiling property, where you can set the zone's scale, offset, and rotation. Additionally, a zone can be manually edited. A double click on your zone will give you access to its vertices. You can move vertices, add vertices, or delete vertices. Last but not least is the zone divider that allows you to split the zone of the room. You can either use the room walls as the zone border or create a shape within your existing zone. Notice you can also select an arc mode for the zone divider. About your zone tag, notice that you may set its units from the bottom right scale bar. And that is everything about drawing walls, openings, and zones with Ryan. Check out our YouTube channel for more useful, hands-on tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next drawing tutorial.